Everyone knows about the legend of Bloody Mary. You stand in the mirror with all the lights off and then you call her name while looking into the mirror three times, more depending on which part of the world you are from. Bloody Mary then would appear in front of you and depending on how your future looks, she would either tell you your future or she would kill you and destroy your life. However this story is not about Bloody Mary but another soul you can summon in the same way but using black candles and calling a different name. However this soul is not a soul but a demon who will depending on how evil it is feeling will rip your soul from your body or buy your soul for whatever your heart desires. I was in university in the summer of 2000 and I was taking a course on the supernatural, ghosts, demons and spirits. That sort of stuff. One of the most popular urban legend that popped up in class was that of Bloody Mary. Even before I went to college or even school, I have heard of Bloody Mary. Me and my friends would tell stories of how we would look into the mirror with two white candles on either side and call out Mary's name. We would then make up stories of how she appeared to us and tell us how future and how rich we would be or how influential we could be. However that was it all, just stories that kids made up to impress each other. With me now being in university and hearing about Bloody Mary, I got bored and fed up of hearing and writing about the legend. One semester, we was tasked on looking up a not-so-well-known legend and writing an essay about it. This got me very excited as I already known about the popular legends and it gave me a chance to seek our new and unknown legends. It was however going to be very tricky as there ain't going to be much info out there. I was scouring the internet for hours looking for the right legend to write about, but when it seems like I have found a legend, a little search on the web and it brings up more info about the legend. I was gutted to say the least. Now with the web out of the question, I sat and bonded for a while, thinking to myself, is there anywhere I could go that could point me to a legend that is not on the web and not so popular? I thought about going to the library and having a look to see what stories I could find about legends but then I thought to myself that these books are also written by people who have done research on the net and by doing so, they would also write about the most popular legends too. This was coming to a standstill, it was really doing my head in. I thought I would forget about this for a while and have a walk around town centre. Maybe something would pop into my head or maybe even I would see something. So here I am wandering around taking in the views of the town center and also window shopping. I see a old antique bookstore across the road. Maybe just maybe they have what I am looking for I thought to myself. However I was getting a tad hungry and thought that before I went to the bookstore, I should go and get a bite to eat and calm the pain that is hunger in my stomach. It was perfect, a cafe just across the road from the bookstore. I went into the cafe and made the order of pancakes and bacon with some maple syrup and a nice large cup of coffee. I was there for an hour eating while also looking at the bookstore. To say I was now really intrigued. I got up from my seat at the cafe and left a nice tip for the waitress who served me, after all the service was great and the food was really good, I went across the street and into the old bookstore. Now inside, I was really impressed. The store looked like a library with shelves from top to bottom, there was also a section at the back where it seemed there was even older books. These books however was under lock and key with the key being kept in a safe behind the shop counter. I decided that I would take a look from the front of the shop to the back of the shop. There were some nice books in the store I must say, a lot of first editions on sale but with a hefty price tag. Still thought, I couldn't find anything I was looking for. That was when I decided that I would go to the back of the store where all the other books was locked up. I was starting to lose the will to live. I couldn't find anything and then there, near the bottom of the bookcase, I saw it. 
a book that read rare and uncommon urban legends. It piqued my interest and I must have it. However, the price tag on that book was way more than I would make in a year. I stood there for a while pondering while looking at the book. That is when the storekeeper saw me and came over. I see you like this book, he said to me. Yes, I love urban legends and need to write a essay on an unknown legend, I replied to him. I see, he said, while I turned and looked at him. He seemed to stand there for a little while thinking about something. I tell you what, as long as you stay in the store then I will let you read the book and choose whatever legend you want out of it to write about it he told me. I looked at him surprised but happy he would let me do that. The store was closing in ten minutes so I couldn't quite stay in the store and study. I made arrangements with the storekeeper to come back after university and look over the book. I was really hoping it had something that would hook me. I made my way back to the store after university to look the book over. When I got into the store, I can see the man had took the book out of the bookshelf and laid on the table near the till ready for me to look over. I thank the man once again for letting me have the chance to look over the book. I then take a seat at the table, take out some pen and paper to take notes. I grab the book with caution and start to turn its pages. This book was indeed magnificent. Every page I look at had an urban legend that I have never heard of before. This book was indeed a needle in a haystack. I turned the pages looking for that one story. Halfway through the book, I land a page that I thought was perfect. However, I heard of a similar legend before. Having a little time to myself to think. I got it. I remember why this story sounded so familiar. This story was very near the same to the legend of Bloody Mary, only there are differences. The story was called Bloody Lucifer. Intriguing, I thought to myself. You summon Lucifer the same way you would with Bloody Mary however you light two black candles instead of white candles and then also there is his name. Reading up and taking notes on the story, I got an idea in my head. A really stupid idea that I should have not acted upon but I needed to know. I also thought that it would be stupid and that it would never happen. After I have taken all the notes, I packed my stuff. Thanks the shopkeeper and went down the road a few yards. There was also a pagan shop on the same side of the road that sold all sorts to do with the witching hour and so I knew they would have some black candles. I picked up two black candles but also thinking about it, I also picked up a few religious items, holy water, cross and a bible. Even thought I knew nothing would happen. I wanted to make sure that I was ready for whatever happened. After my purchase, I hurried back to my dorm room and set up in the bathroom. I knew that in the bathroom I had no window and so it would be quite dark in there. I put the black candles on either side of the mirror and also laid the religious items on the counter behind me but under a towel. I then light the two candles and turned on the light, the only thing I could see was my light reflection in the mirror. The instructions in the book told me that I would have to say his name five times and he should appear before me. I took a stance in front of the mirror, took a deep breath and slowly said bloody Lucifer, bloody Lucifer, bloody Lucifer, bloody Lucifer, bloody Lucifer. After the fifth time I stopped but got gutted. I knew it. Then out of nowhere a gust of wind blew out the candles and a horrid apparition appeared in the mirror. I must have turned white as a ghost. Who is it that summons me? What is it that you want? Speak now and sell me your soul, it spoke. I got very scared. I could think of what to do. I now hid a demon in my mirror and it wanted my soul. I then remember something else in the book. So I took action. I took out the white candles and put them either side of the mirror while discarding the black candles. What do you think you are doing? That will not work, the voice said, but I refused to listen and continued. 
I lighted the candles and proceeded to say his name backward five times. This made the demon go back to hell. I then turned on the light, sprayed the mirror with holy water and took it off the wall. I went into my room and looked for some twine. I knew I had some. I then proceeded to tie the cross and Bible to the mirror and hid it in the basement of our building where no one could find it. As for the black candles, they went into the bin. As for the legend folks, always heed warnings from the books that you read. You never know when a legend can be true or not.